back again for episode three. And this is the last installment because now we're finishing off by doing the base. This little black thing right here. So I was uh, kind of fighting over what colours and all that I should use and I finally came over that I was going to because this is a recording and this is going to be top notch, I decided to um do a proper like quick base. No, not just any quick base, a actual tub of quick base. I call it quick base, it's not actually called that, it's called it's a kind of paint called texture paint. Uh texture paint in itself is well I can even show you. It oh uh, got it on my hand. Um yeah. That is texture paint. All of its glory. Okay, I'm gonna have to move it through. That is texture paint in all of its glory. Ain't the best looking paints. I can agree with you that on, on that one. But it sure as hell gets the job done. So, I'm going to do a quick piece of that, and then I'm going to finish off my model with, um, no oil, and Agrax shade. Basing actual Necron. So, now that I've got that all planned out, without further ado, I'll use an old paintbrush, which is kind of wrecked, and time to do the basing. Sadly, it won't actually look as if he's standing on like proper grass or turf. It'll look as if he's standing in a mud pile, but when I'm done with it, I should have it working properly. And again, as I always say, hopefully. Because <laughs> nothing ever works out 100% right. Except for one or two models I've done. And that's because I kept on going over and over it. I can even show you them at the end if we've got enough time. Yes, this isn't going to be the only, like, uh, painting tutorials I'm going to do. This is just the first one. So yeah, I'm just getting used to all the mechanics, all the basics. And on that camera, it looks like he's just shot himself. So yeah. You could probably hear people in the background, but that's my parents. Yes, I'm kind of doing a video right now, so yeah. <coughs> Shit. I think I just messed up my thing, but yeah. And it'll work, it'll do. I can fix it up later. Realized that you couldn't see that. So, yeah. 
so yeah, that's that for now. You still have to leave that to dry, and while I'm doing that, while that's drying, I'm going to overcoat my model in not oil because that shit's the bondy. to begin with the not oil give it a quick tap a quick tap and then I get on the model as in the voice of Shika Takanawa the news reporter for Family Guy so now that I just gently add it on this should start darkening the areas, but till then, so that we can get light. Right. The board of the took an hour. Back to you, Tom. And yeah, the more I do this, the more mistakes I see, and the more I'm going to have to touch up on. At the end of this video, I should have like a properly finished model. If not, it's mainly I can see the main contender for that problem being is that. Uh, and the Devlin mod would not have finished. And what you call it? Tattooed. Tattooed right there. That stuff. Let's go. Starland mod. Realistic because mud in Starland is actually pretty damn thick. So yeah, the overcoat and no, <coughs> no oil is near enough finished. Remember, you only go over all the metal part, metallic parts. Oh, and any other little loop just looks strange, really. This gives it a nice sort of shiny look to it. Shiny. Uh, with that, it looks like I've got a bit of. And yes, I do. Rid of that. Oh, you think you're gonna break the fucking skin? It's everywhere. Yeah, I can see this being a four parter. My god, I hate it when this happens. But yeah, I like that. Don't see the first result. Trust me on that. Like here, you probably can't see it because this isn't gonna just just try it. That's a bit too random. But you may or may not see what I've got. Coming up all these bits of mud that managed to hit the foot. You know from the texture paint. Um, and because of that, I'm going to have to go over it and sort that and then just a little bit, this stuff, to cover it up, make it look professionally like, you know, good. Uh, yeah. Better, I guess. Gradually, it should start to become more realistic metal looking. And the more that happens, the better. So, I believe that's him near enough finished. It's just that.
I have to finish them off before I leave. The texture paint. I'm not actually sure how this helps. It's rather twisted. Someone just messaged me. I ain't gonna get through because okay, I'm in the middle of doing this. I'm taking it out. Just heating out. By that I mean drying it out. Drying it then. Yeah, and I end up with like okay there we go. He's in your face. He's playing StarCraft 2, but other than that, I don't really care. Um, so yeah, that's a near enough finished. His base is all mud like. Let's say, um Oh my god, Rory, no! I'm kind of doing a video. Hopefully he gets the hint. Making the vid. Okay. Um. And that isn't quite doing the effect I wanted it to. Hasn't quite dried out yet. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do it off camera. Put in a picture at the end. So. Try and not do that just to cancel. I'm gonna breathe into this man. Um just trying to get it all nice and down. Make this job a good one. So, just checking to see that area. It actually feels more dry than what it is. It's very black. Just check. Now that ain't dry just yet. Some parts are dry though. Since I can only last this school for 14 minutes, we don't have much time. So. Yeah, he had to, uh, to rush this, but it just turned out better than most of my next ones. I can actually compare them to see if you can tell the difference. Okay, 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 okay. <coughs> right, that's that. So. Thank you. I've swapped them round. Which one? <laughs> to be honest, they both look very well made, but this is the one. This one right here. He's the one. So, <coughs> thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>